Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We're here to show you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are the true Israelites, the people of the Bible, that this book was written to you, for you, and by you. That's all right. Give me the book of Romans 15 and verse 4. This is the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things written, or for tales written for our learning, that we, through the patience, through the patience of comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Hey, this is for all y'all that can hear my voice. You believe in the Bible? If you believe in the Bible, come over here and learn your true identity. Read it again. For whatsoever things written before time were written for our learning. So the Bible was written for our learning. That's it was right. written to right. you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. For your learning, right. to change your ways, your mindset. All you brothers and sisters that hear my voice, come over here. Come over here and chop it up with your brother. That's We're going right. to show you who you are according to the Bible and how you're supposed to truly be walking in this wicked-ass world that we live in today. Right. That we... Through the patience and comfort of Through patience and comfort of these scriptures. Because in this in this uh, city of Chicago, right, it's a lot of violence. It's a lot of crime going on. Bring it up. But we don't know. We don't have patience with one another. That's why it's a lot of uh, black on black crime going on. Right. That's why it's a lot of murder. Right. We have to have patience with one another in order to deal with one another. Please. That's right. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope that we might have hope that one day things will be better for us right, right now we're at the bottom of society Bring our schools out. are the worst in the nation right. our drinking water worst in the nation right. our, our, our living conditions are the worst Bring it out. why are we at the bottom of society why are we the worst ones out here living why are we in the projects the hoods the ghettos we should ask ourselves, why is this? Bring it out, huh? Why is this? Why are we comfortable living like this? Right. We royalty. We're yes. the best at everything. Right. But yet we at the bottom of society. Right. Have we not right. yet wondered why? Bring it because, out. Uh, first Maccabees. Let me I want to pose a question, right? Because we at the bottom of society. But like I just said, we the best at everything. Right. God made us in his image. That's right. But so why are we at the bottom of society? Bring it Bring. out. This is the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. 43. 40. Verse 43. They said one to another, let us restore and decay the state of our people. And let us fight for our people and the sanctuary. So we come out here. We come out here to repair the decayed state of our people. That's A right. A decayed state. When you look up the definition of the cave, it's rotten, it's spoiled, right. it stinks, and that's the way our neighborhoods is. Right. Our hallways are full of piss, uh, trash, Bring and garbage. Out. We are the cave estate of people. Bring so we out. come out here to repair that. Read it again. They said one to another. So we said one to another. We ain't getting paid to do this. Right. Let, but we said one to another. Bring come it on. Out. Let us restore the decay and state of our people. So we come out here to repair the decayed state, the stinking smells of our neighborhood, the spoiling of our neighborhood, right. the rotten smells of our neighborhood. Right. And a lot of us do this to our neighborhoods because we right. hate one another. Right. Come on. And let us fight for our people. We here fight for our people, the ones that want a better life. Because there's some of us out here that want a better life, That's especially right. for our children. Right. How many of our children are getting gunned down on these streets? Bring it out. How many of our children are getting caught up by senseless straight bullets? That's right. right. A lot of them. We are here to repair the decayed state of our people. Come on. And the sanctuary. And our sanctuaries. Our homes should be our sanctuaries. How many of our children and how many of our people have died in our homes catching straight bullets for the nonsense that's going out here in these streets? Bring it out. 
Our people are comfortable living like this, and this is straight madness. Right. There's no way we should be living like this as a people. We're the greatest thing to ever live. We're the greatest thing to ever walk this earth. Hey, my brother, my brother, are we not the greatest people in everything? Are we not the most? Come here, let me talk. Let me show you something real quick, bro. Bro, let me show you something real quick, bro. That's what I'm saying. Bring it, Bring it again. Verse 43. They said one to another, let us restore and decay the state of our people. Another way we are uh, destroyed and uh, living in a decayed state is because we don't want to hear the word of God. The word of God is coming out throughout the whole city, but we don't want to hear what's going to repair the decayed state of our people. Bring it out. Bring it out. We're comfortable with living like this. Right. And this is madness. Hold that and give me Deuteronomy 28, 28. This is madness the way we live it. Right. And we're comfortable with it. That's we're right. comfortable with letting our children come up in this decayed state. Gay violence, drug selling, right. prostitution. Right. We're comfortable with this. There's no way we should be comfortable living like this, and we're the greatest people ever walked to earth. Yeah. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. The Lord said he will smite us with blindness and madness. Right. Blindness means we can't even see that we're in a decayed yeah. state. Yeah. We can't even see it. The yeah. madness part is that we're comfortable with it. Right. Like this is natural. That brother got killed the other day. It's natural. Right. We go on living like it never happened. That's right. He's, he, he was murdered and forgotten the same day. That's madness. Read it again. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. He's smiting us with madness. That's why we don't care about killing each other. We, we want to kill each other so bad we go and put switches on guns Jeez. so we can shoot faster. Bring Bring it out. Out. We jump out on our old brothers, our old people's in broad daylight and kill them like it's nothing. Bring Read it, it again. Out. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. That is madness, my brother. My brother, right there. My aged brother, right there. Right there in front of me. Is that not madness? Is that not madness? It is madness. That we have gunned our own brother, somebody that looked just like us, down like it don't matter. And we cool with that talking about you got to have a body. You got to get a body, bro. Right. Bring it again. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. An astonishment of heart. Bro, it's like it's cool. What they say, if you ain't got a body, you ain't doing nothing. Who made that cool to kill somebody that looked just like you? Who did that? Our own people. Right. And that's that's madness. Wouldn't you agree? How old you is, my brother? 76. You 76. How long you lived out here in Chicago? Basically all my life. All your life, go back to uh, First Maccabees. Let me read something to you real quick, right? Because I know we tried to do this uh, with Fred Hampton. We tried to do this with uh, Malcolm X. Bring we tried to do this with Martin Luther King, right? But the thing is about these brothers, they weren't going by the Bible. They didn't have God behind them. Read. Right. This is the book of First Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 43. They said one well, to another, let us restore the decay establishment. They said one to another, let us restore the decay and state of our people. So those men who tried to uh, fix us as a nation, they tried, right? Because Fred Hampton, he had the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, food program going on to feed the neighborhood. Right. You know, Martin Luther King, he had that non-violence, we gonna protest, we gonna march. Bring it and out. Even uh, Malcolm X. He was like, hey, we ain't gonna turn the other cheek. We gonna deal with you with violence, right? So they all had the mindset to try to repair the decay state of our people. But like I said, they didn't have God's word behind them. That's Who's right. gonna fix us? Who's gonna repair us? We can't do it as individuals. We don't have that power. Read it again. They said one to another, let us restore the decay and state of our people. My brother, sister, do y'all believe that we are a decay state of people? The K, when you look up the definition, is spoiled, it's rotten, and it stinks. And some of our building hallways, does it not stink? Because why? Because we don't use the bathroom in it because we don't give a damn. We don't give a damn. That's crazy, right? That's madness. Are we not the best people ever walked the earth? Bring it out. Are we not the most talented? Right. The most gifted? We, we didn't build so many things around this world and we don't even get credit for it. Right. You know why that is? You know why that is? It's because we, as a people, don't know who we are. We, we 
as a people don't know we are. Do we, my brother? What's your nationality? No. African American. What's your nationality, sis? African American, bro. What's your nationality? I'm with you. African American. Okay. How old are you? Because he's 76. How old are you? 44? All right. What year was you born? 78? So, so you was born in 78, right? When did they call us African American? It wasn't, it wasn't before this brother was born. When you born. Right. Who was they calling you when you was born? Right. A nigga. Bring it out. They was calling you a nigga. Colored. Black. Afro-American at one time. Now they call us African-American. You know Jesse Jackson coined that in 1985? In the 1980s? Bring it out. That's when African-American came about. What was we before that? You know what I'm saying? What was we, bro? A lot of us don't even think about this, right? Get that in um, Isaiah. Hold up. Finish that. Finish that. Verse 23. They say one to another, let us restore the decay estate of our people. So we come out here to repair the decay state of our people. Right. Because like I said, our neighborhoods, they stink. They've been spoiled. You know how they've been spoiled? by other nations coming into our neighborhoods, opening up businesses. Who, so they get our money, right? That's how they spoiling us, because the money don't stay in the community. It goes someplace else, right? Read it again. They said one to another, let us restore the K estate of our people. So we coming out here to repair that, right? And first what we got to do is repair the mind state of our people and it starts with knowing who you are. I right, get Isaiah 1 and 3. You see the sign right here? This is the 12 tribes of Israel. This is God's chosen people. This is who Christ came to save. This is who Christ died for. Contrary to the churches who say Christ died for everybody, but you don't find that in the Bible that he died for everybody. Christ came for the 12 tribes of Israel, you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's, right. That's who Christ came for, but first you got to know who you are. Because right. he didn't come for African Americans. Because right. that's not in the Bible. So if it's not in the Bible, how are you coming for that? That's why we got to start with knowing who we are first. Right. That's what's going to change our mindset. That's what's going to free us from our mental captivity. Because right. we slaves to this day, but a lot of us don't know that, right? Because uh, you got license, you could drive a car, you could go to this state, you could go to this state. So you think you're free, right? Even back in the time of slavery, you had to have traveling papers. Right. That's what that passport is, traveling papers. That's what your license is, traveling papers. Because they could stop you anytime and know who you are. Right. Understand? Does that make sense, my brother? Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Hey, check this out, my brother. We're going over who we are according to the Bible. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? African American. That's what everybody else said. And I was just showing them that Jesse Jackson coined that in the 1980s. Right. African American. But before that, we was Afro Americans. Before that, we was black. Before that, we was Negroes. Before that, we was colored. Bring it out. What's our nationality? What's our nationality? What's our true nationality? Because think about this, right? African American. That's two continents. Don't nobody else say that. If you ask a white person, hey, where are you from? I'm from Europe. Oh, no, they're going to say, I'm from the UK, or I'm from Germany, I'm from Russia, I'm from Ukraine. You ask a black person where you're from, what are you going to tell them? Where are you from? Where, where do our ancestors uh, come from? Bring it out. Where do they come from? That's right. There's 53 countries in Africa. Where? You see, we don't know these things, right? The Bible explains everything to us. Check this out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master crayon. But Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider. You see what I'm saying? I was just showing the brother right here. These are the 12 tribes of Israel. These are the people that Christ came for. These are the people that Christ died for. These are the people that he's coming to save, right? He's not coming to save African American because that's right. not in the Bible. So we have to know who we are according to the Bible in order to know if we even going if even if we got that opportunity to be saved, right? Right. He came for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Where do you see yourself on that sign? Nowhere? 
What's your father? No, your father. Your earthly father. What's his nationality? Okay, African American. So right here, American black. You will be from the tribe of Judah. Yes, right. Now you said Christ is your father, right? Let me see. Let me show you something. What he say? Keep reading that. Okay. Verse three. The ox knows his owner. So he said the ox knows his owner. What is the ox? It's it's just an animal, right? That's used for farming, pulling. It's a it's a it's a, a, a animal that's kind of slow, right? Not smart. That's right. But it said the ox. The ox knows his owner. It says the ox knows his owner, right? Come on. And the ass, his master's crib. An ass, which is a donkey, a jackass, which is the most stubborn animal there is. He said what? The ass. And the ass, his master's crib. But the ass knows his master's crib. Meaning if I take an ass all the way to the south side, to the south suburbs, you know what? He'll find his way back to Central um, uh, Madison. Bring it out. He'll find his way back. Because he knows what? The ass, his master's crib. He knows his master's crib. So when I'm asking you what's your nationality, and you say an African American, meaning you don't know who your owner is or who your master's crib is. Right. Because we've been taught all our lives through slavery, through this right here. Come check this sign out right here. We've been taught through this time by our ancestors who got their backs beat in, we've been taught Jesus was white. So we don't know who our true savior is, right? Because right. in every church you go to, you're going to get a white image. That's right. They've been whitewashing our image forever because this Bible was written by black people. Bring it out. Our, Bring it out. Our Christ, our, our savior, our Messiah is a black man. That's right. right. But listen to this. Read it from the top. The ox knows his owner and the ass his master crib. Now, when I ask you your nationality, you say African-American, right? Listen to what this says. But Israel, but Israel, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, do not know. My people do not consider. We don't know, and we don't even consider. We was told we African American in the 80s, and right. we, was, we was cool with it. But where can I go visit my land? Bring it out. Where am I actually from? Where do my people, where do my people uh, dwell from? Where do we come from? It's the question we need to be asking ourselves, right? Does that make sense? Read on. Verse 4. Oh, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. So God says the Israelites, Israel, who don't know who they are, who do not consider our people laden with sin and That's iniquity. Right. Laden right. means sin on top of sin on top of sin. Bring it out. Do we not do that through our streets? Teach. Are we not laden with sin throughout the whole city of Chicago? Really? To the suburbs. All around this whole Cook County right. is laden with sin. That's right. We hate one another, do we not? We hate people that look like us. And that's the crazy part. That we don't even realize that we actually family. Right. Just because we, you know why? You know why we don't know we family? Because of this right here. Our ancestors was a beat. And you know who name we got? Who name we got? The slave master name. Bring it out. Your last name uh, comes from a slave master. Right. So now they separated us by giving us their last names that we don't know we family no more. That's why I'm showing you right hey. here. This is the 12 tribes of Israel. We are family. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are family. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 